So I'm here with Melise Zhao from Vampire Diaries. And Melise, a rumor has it that you're single. What? Yeah, I am, believe it or not. So, uh, you know, I've been enjoying summer. It's been a single summer, which I think everyone should do. So uh, now we're getting in the fall, and, you know, you want to cozy up a little bit. So I may be talking to some people. Who knows? Look at this. Men, men, men are so stupid. She's single, people. You know. Some you tell them. A, somebody let her get away. B, she's still walking around single. Uh, it's been all summer. Hello, guys. So funny. <laughs> and you're on the show, and you got the nerve to be on the show with all these hot guys. I know, I know. So, I mean, you know, they kind of distract me a little bit from getting into a relationship because they're just so cute, you know? Well, talk about intimidation because, like, who wants to date a girl who's hot and then it goes to work with a bunch of hot guys? I have some really attractive co-stars, I'm not going to lie. And on top of that, they're, like, so genuine and professional, and they, they really get work done. So it's, it's great. You got it going on. Whoever gets in there is going to be a lucky guy. Thank you. Now, tell me, what is going on in Vampire Diaries? Because you were gone, uh, and now you're back. Yeah, it was very final in uh, in the first season finale. So uh, by season two, everyone thought I was long gone. And uh, come to that finale, and it's me and Vicky that are back. Uh, so the season premiere is on September 15th that everyone should tune into, and then a new episode every Thursday. So uh, lots of shocking stuff. So when you say you're back, you're back for like multiple episodes? We'll see. We'll see. Everyone's going to have to watch and find out. My lips are sealed. So you know what happened. Probably all those letters started coming in and the producers were like, uh, what can we do? You know, I, I got I to gotta shout out to the fans because the internet is amazing and uh, Twitter, they showed their support for Team Anna and I think that helped a lot. I, I really do think that that was like a lot of why I'm back on the show now. So, so fans, they are listening. So if you want her back and you want to keep seeing her, you got to start, <laughs> keep those tweets coming. Exactly. Keep your voice loud. That's what it's all about. What do you look for in a man? <laughs> in a man? I don't know. I, I kind of have like a weird track record. Like sometimes I like someone super funny, and but then I like to be serious and I love musicians. Uh, I don't know. And therein lies your problem, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And that's why I'm single right now. I'm just kidding. Um, no, but I mean, there's some really great guys out there. I have faith. I'll find someone eventually. You will. It's LA. It might take a while, but you will find someone. <laughs> Eventually. What's your best dating advice? I know you're out there in the field right now, so tell us what your... Best dating advice. Um, don't get too serious too fast. You know, take your time, talk to them, even on the phone for a while if you have to, and then eventually, you know, get into spending time together. But I think getting too serious is where our problem is, and uh, they want to jump into something before you actually know the person. So... I think that you should slow it down. You know, I'm only 20, but I'm trying. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Thank you. What's your biggest beauty advice tip? Because you've got flawless skin and you don't have any wrinkles, but you're only 20. Thank you. I know. I hope not. Mm -hmm. Keeping everything intact. No, um, just washing your face at night. Uh, it makes a huge difference. Moisturizing, using sunscreen. I mean, just simple, you know, facial tips that you hear all the time that we take for granted, but you really, like, should follow through. And then you'll see a difference, like, in a matter of days, really. Now, do you have any, like, super secret Jedi uh, tricks that you, like, spas you go to, anything that you do that's... <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, that's what's so crazy is everyone thinks that, you know, I go to the spa, like, every other week, but that's so not the case. It's so simple. Just wash your face and moisturize and... So, so no injections, no needles, no nothing like... Heck no. You don't need that stuff. No, and enjoy who you are and uh, be natural. That's what it's all about. So we meet again, and we're here in front of Royce Ware. Tell me what you got from them. Oh, from here, I'm about to pick out my jewelry right now. I know I got, like, a little dog collar, something to put on it. It's super cute. So, I mean, they even think about our pets here. So they're really taking care of us. Yeah, head to toe and the pet, too. Exactly. <laughs> Show me what you got. Yeah. Just a little dog charm to go on the collar. It's so sweet. I love it. What kind of dog do you have? I have a Chihuahua. Prince Chloe. That is probably bigger than your dog. Probably gonna weigh more than her, but you know, it's gonna be super cute. Are you a jewelry girl? I think you are. I am most definitely a jewelry girl. I think accessories pull together like a whole outfit just instantly. Um, so a good necklace, some rings, you're good to go. Yeah, let me see those rings. You definitely, she is a jewelry girl. You know, my new thing is actually wearing toe rings on your fingers. So you kind of have like a midway thing right here. Trend alert, trend alert, toe rings on the fingers. We're starting it. We're starting it. It's super cute. It's super different. Ground zero for that trend right yep. here. here we go. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. What's up? It's Melise Jow from Vampire Diaries, and you're watching Eligible TV. The season's going to be awesome, so stay tuned to see what happens.